Go. Here's the tea. Only you guys could see how much stuff I own from this brand. Oh, I'm hot, guys. I'm hot. Wow. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? If you are a returning subscriber, my sugar cube, welcome back. As you can tell from the title, it's going to be an update on the Tropic Isle Living products. If you guys haven't seen my original haul, I will definitely link that video down below in the description box. And my collection has only added since then. Uh, disclaimer, none of these products were sent to me for review. I purchased everything myself except the four products in which I won through an Instagram giveaway. So all of this I spent my hard earned coin on, okay? So let's just get that out the way. Also, just wanted to tell you guys I'm drinking some tea. Drinking some tea. You know when you're an adult and you're like, oh, I want to have cake for breakfast and then your stomach's like... So I'm drinking tea. You will see this cup, this Henry Bendel cup, throughout the video. You guys probably usually see me drink out of this Henry Bendel cup. And I just wanted to tell you guys, I do have a code for Henry Bendel. Definitely check the link down below. Valentine's Day, I'm hot you guys. Valentine's Day is coming up. So you can definitely supply your significant other with some really amazing products from Henry Bendel. Again, this is not sponsored. I purchased both of these cups on my own, but they did give me a link that will get you $25 off your whole ooh, entire purchase. I know it might be hard for some people to buy Henry Bendel products who do not live in the United States, and my family's been buying Henry Bendel products probably since the 70s, in all honesty. So definitely check the... Excuse me. Definitely check the description box for a Henry Bendel code and link that will take you to the Henry Bendel site that will give you $25 off. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the video. Last year I did a major, huge, major haul from Tropic Isle Living. If you are not familiar with Tropic Isle Living, it is a brand that caters to skin, hair, and body with really good wholesome products focusing on Jamaican black castor oil. I followed them on Instagram and really prompted me to buy from them at the time that I did was I was listening to the CEO and founder Lois Hines who was like the sweetest lady ever speaking and I immediately got endeared to her. Like I purchased so much stuff I think if not the same day probably the day after but if you guys haven't seen my original uh what you call that thing if you guys haven't seen my original haul i'll definitely link that in the description box also so make sure to check it out this is going to be an update on some of the products so i'm going to name the products how i used it how much i like it and we'll go from there now my hands down favorite product out of everything that i originally hauled has to be this coconut black castor oil hair food with shea butter it looks like this and you guys it's like a thousand percent empty <laughs> I absolutely love this absolutely love this if you guys haven't seen how I achieved my signature ponytail video I'll definitely link that down below I was using an olive oil hair moisturizer and it was okay but it left my hair really dry after after maybe like a couple hours I really like this a lot as you can tell I am empty from it I did have the uh, black cast oil hair food. This is the original one, not the coconut oil one. And I like it, but I definitely like the coconut way better. They perform the same, but to me, the coconut oil isn't as heavy on my hair. I don't need too much uh, product to weigh my hair down. I just need to help it go in the direction it needs to do for my ponytail. So the way I like to use these hair food products are in my ponytail. So I like to train my hair in a direction that it's going to go in a ponytail, whether it be a side part, straight back, or middle part, and then I'll use this as a moisturizer before I put down any gel. And that's another thing, guys. I stopped using gel. I may use gel a little bit. I mean, the smallest amount around the perimeter, but I really stopped using gel. Moving on. I picked up two shampoo and conditioners. The first one and my favorite one are... The black castor oil shampoo and conditioner 
with shea butter, red pimento, and rosemary. It's the blue bottles. I absolutely love the color of the bottles. I love blue. And this has to be my favorite shampoo and conditioner out of the two sets that I purchased. It works amazing. The shampoo, it doesn't strip my hair at all and it leaves my hair feeling very clean without it being stripped but without it being greasy. Sometimes I feel like when, excuse me, when you have shampoos that are toward natural hair, it could be really, really clarifying until you get that squeak, 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 or it could be very greasy to the point like, why, why am I washing oil out just to feel my hair greasy? I do not have that problem at all with the shampoo. I love the shampoo and I like the conditioner. Now this conditioner wouldn't be something I use to detangle, although it does have a lot of slip. It's not the texture in which I'm used to. I'm used to very thick thick almost like heavy cream type of conditioner this is like a regular medium cream so I don't really like to use it for the tangling but I love them together oh my gosh next shampoo and conditioner I have is the strong roots with red pimento and Jamaican black castor oil it's in the red bottle like this the first time I tried the shampoo I honestly I didn't like it because it's such a clarifying shampoo I didn't understand why I would need such a clarifying shampoo, but with these products your hair stays moisturized and for me personally, it's kind of easy for my scalp to have a lot of buildup because I, I use a lot of oil because my scalp gets very, very dry. So I need a very strong clarifying shampoo. Although this is an extremely clarifying shampoo, it does, it could have the tendency to leave your hair stripped if you use too much, but a little bit goes a long way and that goes the same for this shampoo also. A little bit goes a very long way. You do not need a whole lot. And I like the, sh I like the conditioner equally. I like these because it leaves your scalp tingly. <laughs> it's kind of like a mountain air effect on your scalp, which I really like. But if I had to choose my favorite out of these shampoo and conditioner combos, it would definitely be this one. Now, the only deep conditioner that I purchased from them was the uh, protein conditioner, the protein treatment. I just, I purchased two of these and I just ran out of the other one. I like it. Now I usually use Dudley's DRC28 or if I'm out of Dudley's I'll use the, um, that's what it looks like, I'll use the Affigy 2 Step I think uh, protein treatment or uh, you know what I'm trying to say, the Affigy 2, two Step system. When it comes to protein conditioners my mom grew up using like the Queen Helena on me or the dark and lovely hair mayonnaise so it does have a mayonnaise <laughs> that's where it's sent um, but it's not very thick it's actually a little bit more to the watery side which I don't mind and a little bit of this goes a long way you only need to let this sit on your hair for 15 minutes 15 to 30 minutes depending on the density of your hair but I do really like this from my protein treatments I have so many oils now I originally hauled um, an 8 ounce Big Daddy of the JBO original Jamaican black cast oil and then I got two of the baby ones which are the 4 ounce. I didn't even open these yet I'm going to tell you why because I have so many JBOs and then I had a package of 4 JBOs. I will obey you. They want to know what I couldn't say who that had like different I want to say like different additive like different key ingredient rather so you have the coconut and the rosemary and then you have the aloe awkward angle and lavender and I really like these I haven't even touched the original JBO's yet because I've been using these now out of the four I haven't really dabble into the coconut one too much but I absolutely love the rosemary absolutely love the lavender and I love the aloe vera if you guys have been rocking with me for like since the beginning when I did my original skincare video I definitely eat aloe okay it's bitter but I absolutely love the benefits for the skin I haven't really tried it in the hair but I like I really like the JBO with the aloe now the how I use the JBO I'll use it in a hot oil treatment before I wash my hair and this as you see my fluffy I want to say like maybe 97th day twist out <laughs> I don't know how to cornrow I don't know how to Dutch braid I don't know how to French braid I don't know how to bantu knot I haven't had a successful flexi rod set and I haven't had a successful perm rod set so what I do is I literally twist my hair and seal the ends with Jamaican black castor oil and that's how I use those so I'll seal my ends of the twists with the JBO and I'll use it for 
my hot oil treatment and I really like it like I love the rosemary one so much because like how I feel like this has a mountain air effect the rosemary definitely has a mountain air effect I already went through one bottle of this strong roots uh, red pimento hair growth oil and I originally call this the God's breath oil <laughs> because it, I literally thought it felt like God was like chewing gum and like blowing on your scalp at the same time. I really like this. Like I said, I went through a whole bottle of this already. I usually use this on the temples of my hair mostly, but I do put it in the um, rest of my scalp. But I really like to use this on the temples. I'll sometimes I use it on my eyebrows if I remember. Don't use it on the eyelashes. It has red pigment, so it will burn. Okay, it will burn. It will burn. Don't put it on your eyelashes. But I'll use it on my temples and my eyebrows sometimes. I did win a bottle of this through an Instagram giveaway and they, they kind of they had kind of forgot about me so when they actually sent me my oil they sent me a complimentary bottle of the shampoo and conditioner which is pictured here pictured this is not a picture which is shown here because even though I did haul these two I, I went through them already so this is this is what was gifted to me through an Instagram giveaway everything else I purchased on my own speaking of Instagram the one oil that I really really wanted and I saw everyone using on their page was the Coco Rosemary and you guys I see why it's so hyped up. I absolutely love this oil. Focus camera, focus boo boo. There you go. This is truly God's breath oil. It, I don't know if it has like eucalyptus in it but it's the Coco Rosemary with vitamin E. It's so like, it's so therapeutic. First of all it's therapeutic to smell. It's It like opens, it's it's such a minty fragrance. I absolutely love it. I'll use this on my temples, the rest of my head. I'll actually just massage my hair now. Before I purchase these products, I never used to massage my scalp at all. I have no shame in saying that whatsoever, but I absolutely love this oil. I love this oil. My scalp massages, I almost incorporate every day, and it's so therapeutic to smell and just to massage in my scalp. And like I said, I have a very dry scalp, so I do need to put a good amount of oil in it, and I like this. I like this a lot. My most recent purchase, which I did this year, earlier this year, if you guys didn't know, I am a January baby. So for my birthday, I purchased their new launch, which was the Jamaican Black Cast Oil Daily Hair Growth Leave-In Conditioning Mist and the Jamaican Black Cast Oil Hair Growth Oil. I purchased them as a bundle in conjunction with two bottles of the Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler with Rosemary Shea and Jamaican Black Cast Oil, which looks like this. Now I'm going to tell you. These two spray leave-in conditioners right here changed my life. When I tell you I absolutely love these together, comment down below if you'd like to see how like I achieve a fluffy twist out when it's like first day here and not like 103rd. But I absolutely love the idea of spray leave-in conditioners. I really like this. I use this on my scalps before I twist my hair and I'll use this to twist my hair as my leave-in and then I will go on top of it with this oil. So I'll spray, I hope I'm making sense, I'll spray this in the scalp and in the parts of my hair. I'll spray this on the actual hair strands of my twist out and then I'll coat the hair strands with this oil in conjunction with massaging it a little bit into my scalp but that's really what I bought the Coco Rosemary for and I love the results. When I tell you these two conditioners really made me love spray leave-in conditioners now I, I can't turn back. I can't turn back because I was on the hunt for a really good moisturizing leave-in conditioner for my wash and goes. I was trying creams and I don't think my hair really likes creams. I think it weighs it down but these leave my hair soft and fluffy and in conjunction with coating my strands with this oil I like I said I do coat the bottom of my twist or seal the bottom of my twist rather with the Jamaican black cast oil and I absolutely love it like I said comment down below if you want to see me next time like I wash my hair how I do my twist out and stuff like that because it's very easy like I said I can't do a whole bunch of these styles. I'm very basic when it comes to my hair. I'll wear it out like this or I'll wear it in my signature ponytail and put it in a bun or I'll wear it in a head wrap in all honesty. 
but I absolutely love these products. Would I repurchase them? Heck freaking yeah. If I had to recommend five products, five products, I would definitely recommend the Cocoa Rosemary because it's like, like I said, God is chewing gum and just blessing your scalp. I absolutely love this. I would highly recommend the Coconut Black Cast Oil Hair Food. I absolutely love, love, love this, love this. Any, either of these leave-in conditioners. I like the smell too. This one smells a little bit more like cucumber, but I love the scent of this and the hair oil that matches it. Either of these leave-in conditioners will work amazing for you, depending on your hair type. I don't hair type, honestly, so it works for my hair, works for my hair, but depending on hair type, because I know people do use that as a key to find what works for their hair depending on your hair type is depending on how you can use it but i feel like everyone can benefit from this so let's see that's three i need two more two more i want to recommend a jbo so i'm going to recommend the rosemary one again it has that nice cooling effect that you can use on your scalp and then lastly lastly oh I forgot a product. It's the Couscous Body Butter. I would highly recommend this. Highly, highly recommend this. It's winter, okay. Um, I went through a good portion of it. I'm not 100% empty yet, but like I said, it's winter and you don't want your body looking crusty and dusty and this goes a, a little bit goes a very long way. It spreads, it spreads really well. As far as the scent, it just has like a very basic shea butter scent but I really like this and I'll mix it into my my scented lotions I really like this or I'll even mix it into my JLTC uh, baby powder body butter and oh these child I'd be so moisturized like oh the wind be trying me but it'll just slide off of my moisturized skin you don't understand so I really hope you guys enjoyed this update like I said comment down below if you want to see how I achieve my twist outs. Also because I really, really like spray leave-in conditioners, I did purchase, um, what about the one? Oh, I did purchase four other brands spray leave-in conditioner in conjunction with the corresponding oil. So let me know if you want to see like a, a Tropic Isle Living spray leave-in versus the other guys spray leave-in let me know i think that might be a cool thing to incorporate on my channel but i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions any questions about any of the products that i featured here definitely leave them in the comment section of this video don't forget to check the description box for all the items i listed check the description box for my original haul as well as my coupon code for Henry Bendel that will give you 25% off. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed.